Hello and welcome to Daily Music Roll. This is Alicia here. We are delighted to engage you with the latest updates on the music industry. So, let's move forward with the first one. Kanye West is seeking professional help after a series of dark episodes. Kanye West might have been able to create an empire with his beloved wife Kim, but the rapper is currently seeking help from professionals. After a series of erratic moments in his life and relationship, the rapper's mental turmoil is reflected through his music as well. The highly anticipated album released by this rapper, named Donda is offering new music videos where art is represented with an underlying dark sense of comedian Pete Davidson's murder. Though there is a lot of difference between showing a music video and actually committing murder, Kanye's current mental state and breakdowns after Kim's leaving might actually lead him to something terrible. Captivated by the chaos and backlash, Kanye also lost his spot at the Coachella Music Festival. The incident made him realize how his mental health is affecting his musical career as well. According to a recent report, Kanye West is currently looking for a luxury clinic where he can get the exact treatment he needs to move on. The rapper is working hard to get through a professional behavioral treatment that can help him become not only a better dad but a better person as well. Coming to the next update, Tish Cyrus is and Billy Ray Cyrus is looking forward to their divorce after 28 years. Hannah Montana star and Miley's father, Billy Ray Cyrus is facing a divorce filed by his wife Tish Cyrus. Though the couple has previously tried for divorce many times, somehow they were able to pull the strings together. Will it be the same this time? This is the third time the Cyrus couple is trying for divorce and perhaps this is the end of their married life after 28 long years. Billy, 60, and Tish, 54, have contributed much and enriched the music industry. Tish claimed that there were irreconcilable differences and the couple has not lived together for more than two years. The first divorce was filed by Billy in 2010, which he quickly withdrew to get his family together. In 2013, Tish again filed a divorce against him and told the media, This is a personal matter and we are working to find a resolution that is in the best interest of our family. We ask that you respect our privacy at this time. They both went to couple therapy and professional help which put them together till now. However, this is the last time fans will ever see them together. Billy said, you take it one step at a time. One day at a time. I think one of the most important things in life and in a relationship is, you make adjustments. Proceeding towards the next one. Britney Spears is expecting her first child with Sam, revealed on Instagram. After a year of Britney's confession in the court for the case of conservatorship, this evergreen pop singer finally seems happy with her new life. The singer recently shared an Instagram post where she declared her pregnancy. Britney is currently 40 and shares two sons with her ex-husband Kevin Federline. The boys namely Sean Preston and Jaden are currently 15 and 16 years old respectively. Though it is unclear whether Britney is married to Sam Asghari or not, the singer occasionally addresses him as her husband. She said in the Instagram post that her trip to Maui with Sam had the purpose of gaining weight and she was quite confused about whether it was a food pregnancy or real. She posted on Instagram, I lost so much weight to go on my Maui trip only to gain it back, I thought geez, what happened to my stomach? My husband said no your food pregnant silly. Britney proceeded with the test and said, so I got a pregnancy test, and knew well, I'm having a baby, and she further wrote, four days later I got a little more food pregnant, it's growing. If two are in there, I might just it. Talking about the prenatal depression she said, I have to say it is absolutely horrible, women didn't talk about it back then, some people considered it dangerous if a woman complained like that with a baby inside her, but now women talk about it every day, thank Jesus we don't have to keep that pain a reserved proper secret. She ended her post with a burst of love, saying, This time I will be doing yoga every day. Spreading lots of joy and love. And last but not the least, Kylie Jenner and Travis Scott have not renamed their son after withdrawing the name Wolf. Kylie Jenner recently revealed that she and Travis have not officially renamed their two-month-old son. Previously, the child was named Wolf Webster. After the birth of her child, Kylie announced the name Wolf on Instagram in February. Her son was born on February 2nd. However, later in March, Kylie further revealed through a post that the name Wolf does not really fit his name and so it was withdrawn with a mutual decision with Travis Scott, whose real name is Jacques Berman Webster too. The couple seems to be struggling with the name since they still have not decided on one. She said, we have some really strong options, but we haven't officially changed it. Kylie further added, sometimes you have to meet the baby. 
I mean, I didn't name any of my kids for 10 days, 2 weeks, and I contemplated changing names. Like, it's the hardest thing in the world to name a child. The couple shares another child, their 4-year-old Stormy. Kylie opened up about how difficult it was for her to give a second birth. She said in a story, I think we can look on the internet and, for other moms going through it right now we can go on the internet and it might look a lot easier for other people, and put the pressure on us. She further assured, it hasn't been easy for me either. It's been hard, and I just wanted to say that. If you are hearing this message, you've listened to the entire episode and for that, we want to thank you from the bottom of our hearts. We hope you enjoyed this new episode and if you did, please leave us a review on Google Podcasts and Spotify. Please share this episode with others who may be interested in this topic. Also, feel free to let us know what topics you'd like to see covered in future episodes. Get in touch in the comments or on Daily Music Rules social networks. See you next episode for a new topic.